In today's video, I'll be giving an overview on isotopes for A-level chemistry. I'll begin by defining what an isotope is, then we'll be providing a few examples and also talking about their abundances and how they exist in nature, before coming to their chemical and physical properties. Make sure to stick around and try the question at the end of the video, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have understood the basics of isotopes for A-level chemistry. My name is Ahmed, and I'm a dental student studying at King's College London in the UK. During my two years of A-levels, I really enjoyed A-level chemistry, and that's why I've decided to start a new YouTube channel in the aim to help others throughout their A-level chemistry journey, especially in this current climate where a lot of the teaching is being done online. So yeah, I guess that's enough about me, and let's get into the video. So, isotopes are different atoms of the same element that have the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. And the three most important things to remember about this definition is that these isotopes are atoms of the same element. They have the same number of protons by a different number of neutrons, as you can see labeled one, two, and three. Let's take the element chlorine, for example. It has two isotopes, one with a mass number of 35 and one with a mass number of 37, as you can see on screen. And also these are different atoms. So they're different atoms, one is a an atom with mass number 35, one mass number 37. So these are different atoms, but they are of the same element. So the different atoms with this, but they are of the same element, chlorine, and that fits in with part one of the definition we described uh, previously. So coming to our second part of the definition we stated uh, earlier, we said that isotopes have to have the same number of protons. And this is because I've told you that these two uh, chlorine atoms are, are both of the element chlorine and therefore they have to have the same number of protons because it's the proton number that identifies the element. So because I've told you these are two chlorine atoms they have to have the same number of protons otherwise there won't be the same element, they won't be both chlorine. So let's say for example I give you uh, an atom with a proton number of 8. Straight away you'll say that you have an atom uh, of oxygen because it's the proton number that identifies the element so therefore um, given that these are two uh, uh, chlorine atoms they have to have uh, the same number of protons which is 17 for both isotopes so this now leaves us with finding the number of neutrons uh, for both isotopes now as we said the proton number for both is 17 and we know that to find the number of neutrons it is mass number minus the proton number so therefore uh, for chlorine 35 it will be 35 minus 17 which gives us 18 neutrons and for chlorine 37 it will be 37 minus 17 which gives us 20 neutrons so a difference of two neutrons between the, the two isotopes and this fits in with the third part of our definition of our definition that we discussed earlier which stated the isotopes have a different number of neutrons coming to the number of electrons so if these atoms are neutral, that means the number of protons has to be equal to the number of electrons. And we already know the number of protons of, for chlorine is 17, no matter how many neutrons it has. So therefore, uh, to make sure it's neutral, it's a neutral atom, the number the electrons has to be equal to the number of protons, and therefore the number of electrons would be 17 for both isotopes. Another example is magnesium, which has three common isotopes with mass numbers of 24, 25 and 26 and again because the isotopes of, of the element magnesium they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons when it comes to the number of electrons again if the element is if the atom sorry is neutral therefore the proton number it has to be equal to the number of electrons which is 12. all other elements have isotopes However, just to include uh, some other examples, oxygen uh, has three common isotopes, oxygen 16, 17, uh, and 18. Uh, carbon is another element that has three common isotopes with carbon 12, 13, and 14. And carbon 14 is normally used for carbon dating. So all these isotopes exist in reality. However, they exist in different abundances or they exist in different quantities in nature. Um, so for example, um, if I have a sample of 
chlorine atoms, 75% uh, of those atoms will be of mass number 35, and the other 25% will be of mass number 37. Same thing with magnesium, they, they exist in different quantities, with magnesium 24 being most abundant, with around 79%. Magnesium 25 is around 10%, uh, and magnesium 26 exists uh, around 11%. And for oxygen, it's oxygen 16 that has most abundance with over 99%. And for carbon, it's carbon 12 that's most abundant out of all the other carbon isotopes with approximately 99% abundance. So with these abundances, all you really need to know is that these different isotopes exist in different quantities in reality. And that's, that's normally how it is. They normally exist in nature in these different percentages as you see on screen. Let's take uh, carbon-12 and carbon-14 for example. Carbon-12 is a lot more abundant uh, compared to carbon-14. And the, re the reason for that is the two extra protons, uh, sorry, the two extra neutrons in carbon-14 increases the size of the nucleus, making it harder to keep or to hold everything in, the nu in that larger nucleus, making it less stable and therefore less abundant compared to carbon-12. The opposite is also true. So let's say the number of proton neutrons uh, decreased. Therefore, the proton-neutron ratio has now increased, and that will lead to more electrostatic repulsion between the uh, positive protons within the nucleus, and therefore making the nucleus more unstable. So in both cases, either a too much of an increase in the number of neutrons or a decrease in the number of neutrons less than a ratio of one between proton and neutron can lead to a decrease in stability in the nucleus and therefore the isotope is not as stable as other isotopes with a more equal ratio, more balanced ratio. But the main thing to take from this is that isotopes exist in different quantities in reality or they just in nature they exist in different abundances and that's the main thing you need to know for A-level chemistry. Coming to the chemical properties of isotopes of the same element, of course isotopes are atoms of the same element, let's again take the two chlorine isotopes for example. They both have the same electronic configuration and therefore they have the same number of outer electrons and because of that they have the same chemical properties because it's the number of outer electrons or the number of valence electrons means the same thing uh, that determine an element's chemical properties. Just to make sure that I try to convey this as best as possible. Both the chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 have the same number of valence electrons as we said, which is seven. And therefore both just need one electron to have a full outer shell of eight electrons and become like the noble gases and become stable in that way. Therefore, because both of them just need one electron, they both have the same chemical properties. To provide the further example, uh, let's take the salt uh, and ACL table salt. Whether the chlorine atom in NaCl is either 35 or 37 uh, uh, mass number, of mass number 35 or 37, in both cases, that chlorine atom will be a negative ion now of minus one. Both will have a charge of minus one because both of them just wanted to gain one electron from sodium and therefore they have the same chemical properties. And from this, we can say that isotopes have the same chemical properties. Finally, coming to the physical properties of isotopes, this normally depends on mass and therefore making the physical properties of isotopes maybe slightly different due to the different mass numbers that each isotope has. So let's take, for example, uh, density, uh, which is a physical property, uh, and its formula is uh, density is equal to mass over volume. And because of the mass numbers of uh, isotopes are different, therefore the densities of these isotopes will be slightly different, leading to slightly different physical properties between the isotopes. In summary, there are four key points to remember. Number one being the definition of an isotope, which are atoms of the same element, they have the same number of protons and different number of neutrons. The three key, key points of the definition. Number two, make sure to know that 
Isotopes exist naturally in different abundances. You should also know the chemical properties of isotopes are the same. And finally, that the physical properties are slightly different. Thank you for sticking around to the end of my first video. And for me, many voiceovers later. <laughs> uh, but here's a bonus question. I've written down an atom of the element Z contains four more protons and four more neutrons than uh, aluminium with a mass number of 27. So I'd like you guys to uh, find out what's the atomic number of element Z, the mass number, and, and the neutron number, and finally the name of, of the element Z. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. I hope I have helped uh, a few of you guys out there, and I wish you the best of luck in any upcoming exams. Bye-bye.